Before I start the review, I should make it very clear this movie is PG-13. And it means it, because I saw a lot of parents bringing their little, little kids along, particularly a lot of little girls, and I think they're thinking to themselves, oh, this will be like Ghostbusters 2016. They'll make a queef joke, and it's like, oh, it's fine. My, my, little, my little kid can handle that. Uh, no, no. Um, this has a Black Widow blowing up a little girl. This has cute, cuddly little pigs being suffocated. And it has a lot of really long, drawn-out conversations about how miserable and terrible family life was. This is really for 13 and above. <laughs> so just giving you a heads up there, all right? Just, I saw a lot of little kids getting antsy and sometimes running back and forth. And when they would pay attention, they'd be like, she's killing that pig. <laughs> So there, there's some moments in this that can be very intense and just very adult. And I don't mean like, you know, uh, anything like gory or anything like that. Just a lot of stuff of people sitting down talking about stuff. A lot of stuff little kids would not get into. It's not Avengers. There's not a lot of Iron Man quips in there and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, with that said, little background about uh, Black Widow and just uh, my thoughts about the character Black Widow real fast. Um, when I first saw an Iron Man 2, like a lot of people, I was like, okay, just uh, another Marvel character, whatever, not another superhero, whatever. Uh, it wasn't until Avengers that I finally was like, all right, this is kind of a cool character. And then when uh, uh, Winter Soldier came out, I was like, you know what? I think this actually might be one of my favorite Avengers. The only other one that I think I like about as much is probably uh, Thor. I just think it's a very charming character. I like his big epic talk, but he's kind of a doofus and kind of funny too. Uh, Black Widow just had this kind of cool... I don't even know how to put it, like, you know, like, Indiana Jones kind of feel to it. She just kind of did what needed to be done, and she kept everything short and sweet and cool and badass. So, uh, I was pretty excited to see a Black Widow movie even though when i saw the trailer i wasn't like oh super i what's gonna happen i'm gonna analyze everything no i liked the character i thought she was really cool in the movies and uh i was really excited to see a film about her uh overall how is it it's okay it has a real bad case of tell don't show and as you've heard pretentious fops like me say when it comes to film uh you want to show don't tell this has a lot of explaining what happened in the past explaining what's going on now and explaining what they're going to do the plus side is that the actors doing all of this talking are super super talented and a lot of the lines they have to say are very well written that saves it just enough because another problem with the movie, this really surprised me, the action isn't that great. And I don't mean the stunts aren't that great or the choreography and stuff, that's all wonderful. The way it's shot and I think the way it's edited really have kind of a Batman Begins feel to it where there's a lot of shaky cam, there's a lot of fast editing where you can just barely make out what's going on and in an action movie, that's really gonna hurt you. I really feel like, I, I didn't look up what else this director did, but I get a feeling that she probably did maybe more like dramas <laughs> or or something like Born Identity where you know the action in that yes there is choreography in that too but the shaky cam and everything is supposed to look a little bit more gritty and real uh which for something like the Born Identity or you know some parts of this that's fine but this is still a Marvel movie this is still this giant like cloud building city thing you know this cloud base in the sky falling and people are jumping out firing machine guns while they're falling you need to be able to see that you don't need to be like wow this really feels like i'm in a crowded subway car and there's a fight going on and it's like no 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 you want to see the grand epic scale of everything and there's a lot of chases that happen with like you know these tanks and cars flipping over and such and you want to be able to see that so that didn't help either uh but what i did really enjoy is uh i enjoy that 
Every single time Scarlett Johansson is in this movie, there really is a sense they don't give her too much to say, but it keeps in character. It's not like what, the remake of Mulan where she says almost nothing and has no character from it and no reaction. It's like, no, one of her strengths is that she can really, really get across what she's thinking. Well, she can sum you up pretty well just with a look. And when she does speak, it, it's usually poignant, to the point, smart, uh, cool, and uh, the family members in this are very similar. They, they are, you know, this very stoic and very cynical, but they're also, you know, they got their one-liners as well. It is still a Marvel movie, but it never feels... The comedic writing, for the most part, it's one or two times, does not feel overwritten. It doesn't quite overstay its welcome. One or two jokes maybe do, but not many. Uh, and you know what I'm talking about. We've seen this in a lot of Marvel movies recently where a scene will be fine, but it's like, oh, we got to have the zinger. We have to have the funny line. Almost every scene feels like it has to end with a funny line uh, sometimes. And I like that this was like, no, let's let's let it sit for a bit. Let's just let kind of the drama and kind of the atmosphere and the environment sit. And even though the film does have that shaky cam feel to it, it's not quite like, I don't know, first Hunger Games, bad. I remember that. It could never keep the camera still. It's not quite that bad. Um, and there is, it does have a different feel to it. It's, if it wasn't for the action sequences in this, I would say this is kind of a upscale, strange spy film. Uh, you know, and uh, like a modern spy film. And I, I mean that in a complimentary way. I kind of like this as trying something a little different, that it is trying to bring it down a little bit more down to earth. But with that said, when it does go really big and really goofy, it is a little distracting. A perfect example is uh, in the opening. I'll try not to give away uh, uh, too much with spoilers, but you have this family and how they're interacting off each other and everything, and suddenly they have to go, and, and it's done pretty convincingly. You kind of feel their connection here, and that there is this intense rush of what's going on, you don't even know what they're running away from, and it leads to this action sequence uh, with a plane, and <laughs> long story short, someone is hanging on to the plane wing, and that's the good outcome. Like, we made it! He's just hanging on the plane. Oh, well, we'll deal with that in a minute. And, and like, the next scene, they're in Cuba, and the person on the plane, on the wing, just somehow got back into the plane while another person was shot. And they carry her off. And, you know, she's okay and survives. And I'm just like, wait, wait, these two don't mesh. These two not go together. But... Again, where I think it's the strongest is bizarrely working as a family drama, and all the actors in this have, with the exception of maybe the father, who's very over the top in the best way. He He's very, very funny, but can do the dramatic moments as well. Everyone has sort of that quiet, you know, inner struggle acting, and it doesn't come across as bland. They, they legit have personality, and they have real strength to them, and, and again, that they're cool when they need to say a good funny line, it's funny when they need to say a good poignant line, it's poignant. Uh, but the big issue with what I was talking about with they, uh, they tell, they don't show, about halfway through the movie, I asked myself, who's the villain in this? And I know there's this bad organization, but, I'm, but who's the person they're going after and they say the name of this guy once or twice maybe we see him once or twice but not much and you only see him really at the end and this dude's again a good actor and he has real personality and, and he's like scuzzy he's kind of like a russian harvey weinstein i mean he's just like got his hands all over you know people and he's just this ugh, just this despicable guy and he and he's having it up and having a great time and i'm thinking to myself why couldn't i see some scenes with this guy earlier in flashbacks or something where he's talking to someone or he's talking to the other soldiers that are gonna go after a black widow here and tying into that as well, when the family does all meet up again, Black Widow's uh, sister and mother and father, they all meet up again and they have, again, good scenes where they're actually sitting down at a table and just discussing. They almost fall into the traditional family routine where they're arguing back and forth and, and uh, you know, bickering. And they're like, what are we doing? <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're all adults here now and so on. And they really discuss stuff. But I'm also thinking to myself, 
you had the little bit in the opening, the little flashback, which didn't have much of them interacting. It was more them trying to get away from something. We gotta go, we gotta go. And even in those scenes, you did feel a connection. I'm not saying there's nothing. But there needed to be more flashbacks to the connections that they had and the, the little things that did matter to them and, and they did connect because a lot of... And this is... I feel like this is both intentional and unintentional. The family is both a unit and not a unit. They are almost a unit out of necessity. And they do act that way. Again, they, these are... These are really strong performances because this is a very tricky balance to strike. And I think the actors strike it fine. I think the way the narrative went should have had a little bit more cutting back to how the family interacted off each other, what their connection was when they were younger, so you can you could contrast it more to how they are now. This is very much like a play where everything is spoken. Again, in a play, that's where you uh, talk, don't show, because that's often what you have to do. You don't always have the big production to do something like that, or, or cut away, or, or close-ups, or anything like that. You have to verbally talk about it. So, the, especially the middle, where they're all at the house and talking, it really had a play feel to it. Me, personally, I don't mind that much. Again, I like that a Marvel movie is trying this, but it needed more flashbacks, more of a visual connection to what they were like before. How did this family function before? There wasn't enough of that, I felt, to contrast to what we have now. But again, with that said, I, I bought it just enough. I think these actors are really likable when we finally do see the villain. He's very scuzzy and unlikable. Uh, the setup, you know, what, what they're going after and want to stop and destroy and everything works just well enough. Uh, but yeah, this this is not going to be a crowd pleaser, I think, like... I don't know, Civil War, or Black Panther, or something like that. I, I can't see people applauding at the end of this. Uh, or let me put it this way, my crowd didn't. There's even some jokes I was laughing at, but some of the darker jokes, uh, and my, my audience was just dead silent, <laughs> like almost never laughed. Even I was like, wait, up, folks, Come on, that was funny. <laughs> couple of these I was really like come on there's a good joke here every once in a while uh but again they were the darker jokes like I was th the sick fuck that was laughing at the pig dying <laughs> so I, I mean that's that's kind of my humor again not really for little kids I mean there's a lot of parents that brought their little kids there and they're either bored or horrified <laughs> at what they were seeing uh and, and seeing how it is still technically like a Marvel Disney film there are a few uh, harsher moments that are reneged on, but the drama is still there and the tragedy is still there. That didn't bother me. So it's a mixed bag. If you're really looking for something that's gonna be like the Iron Man movies or the Avengers, it's not really that. It's more of a Jason Bourne meets a little, a little bit more of a comic book flick. And even when I say comic book flick, I mean just barely. I mean, yeah, people jumping out of the sky and shooting machine guns is pretty silly, but there's not really a ton of that. And when there is, you can't see much of it. So that is definitely an issue. Uh, I do recommend if you're a Black Widow fan, I think you'll like it, even though I don't think... The character doesn't really go through that much of an arc either. A at least, again... I guess the arc is just connecting with the family, but I, I don't know. I didn't feel too much growth from the main lead in this. I felt a little bit more from, like, the unit, the family unit. And again, I guess that's what the film is about. It's about family. You thought if Nine was about family, you're wrong. <laughs> it's Black Widow. Uh, but, yeah, it, it works just enough, in my opinion, but I really feel like there's going to be folks that are gonna find it boring, they're not gonna be able to get on board with how talky it is, and that the action is not the best shot and not the best edited, and I think that is gonna throw people off. So I would say if you're more down for a, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this, a more dialogue-filled Marvel movie, <laughs> that this isn't that bad. Uh, but if you're looking for the classic Marvel one-liner beat-em-ups, 
and flashy costumes and stuff like that. There's just a little bit of that. It, it mostly plays it weirdly straight <laughs> in, a, in a franchise where it's kind of hard to play it straight. So, yeah, I guess that's my take on that. Uh, what did you think? Did you think it, it came through? It gave you exactly what you were looking for? Or did you feel it missed the mark and it could have done better? What'd you enjoy? What did you not enjoy? What could have been better? What'd you think was perfect? Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Take care.